Hi, I'm Vaughn Cochran, the owner of the Black Fly brand. Uh, this is the second in a series of videos about bonefish flies. A lot of us are traveling this time of the year. Some of us start traveling in December. Uh, we start dreaming about it in September. And uh, so you're always looking for bonefish flies. If you're traveling, you're either a tire or you're going to buy them. So uh, this, this episode is all about uh, a, a term that's a freshwater term actually it's called match the hatch and uh, for those of you who don't know very much about flies uh, it's a freshwater term meaning that um, you should try and find a fly that looks like what the fish are eating uh, it seems pretty simple but sometimes we forget this so uh, in freshwater fishing, it's easy. You just look at the insects that are on the river or the flies, uh, insects that are emerging from the water uh, in their different stages, and you can pick a fly that matches whatever those fish are eating, whether it's a, 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 an insect that hasn't hatched yet, so you would use a, an underwater fly or a streamer. Uh, but uh, in, in saltwater fishing, it's a little different. Uh, saltwater fish eat one or all of three different things. Uh, it's either a, a crab, which I have a, a little crab here, a little crab fly, uh, a, uh, a shrimp, which is, this is an interesting pattern. Most shrimp don't actually look like shrimp, but this, this one does. Or uh, another little fish, and this is a this is a needle fish. It looks really great when it's wet. It's got a lot of flash and stuff in it. So, so one of those three things, a shrimp, a crab, or another little fish. Um, most of the time in salt water, you can't really see what they're eating. So you have to have a way to find out, well, some flats are crabby and some flats are shrimpy. Uh, in the Keys years ago when I was a guide, I would resort to actually getting in the water with the snorkel gear on a certain part of the tide and snorkeling the flat and finding out, uh, you know, what lived there. Uh, the other way to do that is to go at low tide and find out where the birds are feeding. Because when the tide comes in, that's where the fish are going to be. They're going to be feeding the same place as the birds. Now in Belize, there's another, uh, uh, where I fished, uh, managed a lodge in Belize at Turnip Island Lodge. The guides all used to tell me, fish like the birds, which meant the birds would just stand in one place and wait for the fish to come to them. That way you wouldn't make noise crunching the coral or anything like that. So, uh, so you go back when the tide is high and you find out, uh, uh, go to exactly where the birds were and, uh, and you'll, you'll find fish. So match the hatch is an important term, whether you're in freshwater or saltwater. And sometimes you just have to guess at what I would do if I had to guess was uh, tie on a shrimp fly. So everybody loves shrimp. <laughs>